Today's story is The Crows and the Serpent. On the bank of a pond there once was a tree. On the tree two crows had built their nest. On day the mother crow laid some eggs. The father crow was happy. But all their joys were short lived. A snake happened to live at the foot of the same tree. As soon as he smelt the eggs, he crawled up and found the nest. In no time he ate up the eggs. Spare our eggs, cried the crows. But the snake didn't listen. He was strong and poisonous. The crows feared him. After this, whenever the mother crow would lay eggs, the wicked snake would eat them up. And there was no end to it. The crows felt sad and worried. Is there nothing we can do? mused the mother crow. Let me think. I will find out a way to save our eggs from the snake, assured the father crow. Not too far away from the pond was the king's palace. The queen would often come with her attendants to take a dip in the pond. That afternoon, the father crow saw the queen coming to the pond. Instantly, he had an idea. He whispered his plan in the ears of the mother crow. Do as I say, he said. The queen and her attendants kept their jewels on a cloth near the bank and waded into the pond. Just then, the father crow swooped down and picked up the queen's necklace in his beak. The mother crow started cawing so that the queen would notice the father crow. The queen and her attendants made a loud cry to call the guard. By now, the father crow had perched upon the tree. There, that crow has taken away my necklace, cried the queen. As soon as the god came under the tree, the father crow dropped the necklace. It fell right at the picked snake's hole. Hearing all this noise, the snake came out of his hole. Just then, the god bent down to pick up the necklace. Seeing the snake, he beat him hard with his thick stick. And that was the end of the evil snake. Ha! Ah, our plan has worked. The crows heaved a sigh of relief. They lived happily ever after.